Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Roslog and I'm the product manager for Rad Studio 2010. That includes Delphi, C++ Builder, and of course Delphi Prism. Today's quick hit video is going to be on using the classic look and feel that you can get inside of the 2010 product. Now if you see right before you, you have Rad Studio, I have C++ Builder personality loaded into the environment. But what I want to do is I want to kind of load up one of the old projects that we were working on in the some of the prior ones like proc view. Let's just bring that up. We're going to bring it into here. And you know, this is the view that we've been used to for quite a while. And now I want to go back to if I was using C++ Builder 6 or Delphi 7. To do that, I can go ahead and hit the F6 key, which is going to bring up IDE Insight. And remember, IDE Insight allows me to go out and find anything that I want, you know, from anything inside of the editor, designer, debugger, all that kind of stuff. So I can come in here and start typing in the word embedded. And as you can see, when I get to embedded, I see the embedded designer options. When I find it, I can just hit enter. It's going to bring it up and I will see that there is an embedded designer right there. When I unselect this, this will go ahead and say the next time Mike you restart this project it's going to start. So do you want to do this? I'm going to say yes. So we'll say OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close down the project and then we're going to go right back into the project now that it's been closed down and I'm going to go into all programs here and then we'll go into the 2010 and we will pick C++ Builder 2010 again. It's going to bring it back up here in a second, and this time when it brings it back up, you'll notice that my screen is going to have the designer separated from the form, you know, like the structure was before. So here we see we have our messages up here at the top. I don't have any projects loaded at this particular moment in time, so let's go ahead and bring up that proc view project. And notice there's my form again, and it's showing that it's outside of it and that's fine. Now I can also come into here and if I want to make it look exactly like it did back in C++ Builder 6 or Delphi 7, I can say the classic undock look. And so what it's going to do here, it's going to go out there, it's going to move things around a little bit, and you'll know that there's my proc view, and if I slide these things down, I know this is a smaller screen, but if I slide this stuff down, you'll notice that there in the background is my, is the component palette that we used to be very used to and it is it works and functions just like it used to before and of course this layout is really really useful for multi-monitor installations or situations where you're using multiple monitors because you know you can put designer on one you can put your other stuff on there now for me the thing that I like to do is I actually like to go back to the regular structure but leave my layout as it was before so everything is nice and and held together another thing that you can do is of course you can pull the tool palette off like so and then you can put that tool palette onto the other monitor also so that you have your your component palette over on your other monitor you have your form on the other monitor and it works very well this way now for once you have this set up the way you like it you know you can always go back to the way it was before. It's pretty straightforward. All you do is go into the tools, options, and when you go into your form designer, I'm going at the, I'm doing it the long way, not doing it through the IDE insight. And now I just want to turn on the embedded designer again. It's going to say, hey Mike, this won't take effect until we come back in the next time. I say okay. And then we go ahead and close down the uh, project here. And it's going to say, do you want to save it? We will. We'll close it down. We'll go right back uh, into the C++ Builder 2010 and we will bring it back up and you'll see that when we open that project everything will be back to normal so really it allows me to go out there very quickly and easily define my interface the way I want I can have the classic look and feel of plus plus builder 6 or Delphi 7 and it works the same way feels the same way so if you like that look and feel we now have full support for the classic look and feel and if that makes you a little bit more productive because you feel more comfortable awesome I recommend you go out download the product if you haven't got the product right now Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you have a great day. More to come. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.